We continue on the path of life, and the, which is the path of the demon, and the path of love, which is the path of the angel, or the path of God. Let's look at friendship. Friendship is someone you know. It's based on knowledge. It moves you through energy and through emotion. It is based on love. Therefore it falls within the path of the angel and the path of God. That means if you come to death and you are given the opportunity of the final choice, the choice between life and love, life being individualization, equality to existence, equality to life, and in a way equality to God, and returning to God where God takes you become go back to God, that means to the oneness, and you choose family or love, you simply don't exist anymore because God take care of your family and you are fucked back to God and that's over. I mean, really fascinating shit. Same with friendship. Family. They all fall in the same point. They are the temptation placed in front of you so that one can see what would you choose when you have to choose between family and life. Friendship and life. What do you choose? Love and life. What do you choose? Do you choose love or do you choose life? If you look at the world, you see that humanity has chosen love. Look at the abuse that love produces in the realm of God. Humanity has not chosen life. Because if humanity would choose life, they would choose the path of Jesus, which is the path of Lucifer, which is the path of the devil, which is the path of life. Jesus was tempted by the points of oneness. What did he present? Jesus presented equality. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Give to another what you would like equally. Equality, the path of life. That is the path of destiny. What we see through the portal on the other side is when you choose God or love, you simply don't exist when you reach the other side. There is no point. You cannot be trusted with life and you end. It is the final death. If you stand equal with life, and that is proven, then you cannot be killed. It doesn't matter which dimension you are, because you are, in fact, equal. They can imagine. At the moment, there is very few that gets beyond their last breath in the physical, because the moment they ch change dimension, they cannot exist, because they only existed in one dimension, which was the mind in its multiple realities. Completely fucked. And because you're not equal to what is really in the universe, you only live in desires and hopes and projections, you stand no chance. So, destiny is here for those who destine this themselves to become real beings for eternity, standing as life, living in equality. I mean, everything that goes with that, real gods, the actual divine. You don't have that understanding of what it means to be God and you think you're God, you can't be God if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about.